even though you have Celestine Donko either on Facebook, you have YouTube and all that, Twitter alone has gospel soldier. <laughs> gospel soldier. Did you ever intend going to the military or something? How did that name come about? That's how it started. And I love the name. Everything about my life growing up was very much it. Were you being paid or you weren't even looking forward to being paid? Were you just satisfied ministry? At church? Yes. That, that thought never cropped my mind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like to be paid? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> okay. You see, even when I released my first album, mm -hmm. it was launched and everything. I didn't even ask for a dime. I believe strongly that I was directed mm. to put this artist on my song and I knew that I had heavenly backing. When we talk like this, people watching may think it's all rosy. Mm. We fight though. <laughs> we disagree. But hey, let me tell couples out there. It is true that everything in this world is digitalized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But marriage problems are not digitalized. Mm. Let's keep private things private. Mm. And not discuss pop. <laughs> I don't know why people think you can just come on social media and share your marriage problems mm. to the social world. Mm. It's, 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 it's becoming totally a normal uncalled thing now. for. Yeah. Please, I'm a telling you. A few people have said that the, the ministry is becoming commercialized. I don't How agree do with it? that statement. I never knew you favor me this way. You turned my life around. Hello guys, my name is Celestine Donko and keep on watching BTM Africa. Hi beautiful people, welcome to BTM Africa. My name is NYDJ bringing you another amazing episode of our interviews and this day I have a beautiful person who's been doing this for almost 20 years and even more and she's been taking you closer to heaven with her ministry and her music married with kids still doing ministry and she is one of the award-winning musicians we have in Ghana her name is Celestine Donko my namesake we'll be talking more about her her music family and all there is to know about her but for now let's check out a new video that she dropped and big shout to the creativity for this amazing outfit remember to subscribe to our channel leave your comments and of course share so that everybody gets to know who my guest is on BTM Africa Alright guys, so there you go, uh, a beautiful video shot right here and title is only you, just make sure you check out her channel and watch the full video on there. So Celestine is my guest on BTM Africa. Celestine. Yes sir. Thanks for joining us on BTM thank Africa. Thank you, thank you, I thank hope you're you. doing very well. By the grace of God. And you're looking beautiful as always. Thank you. <laughs> what is the magic? Like, is, it, is there any magic, is there any secret? Um, I just love what I do, yeah. I love who I am, and I'm doing what I love, okay. so every aspect of me has to, I mean, correlate and correspond, so mm. yeah, it has to be me, it has to be real. <laughs> <laughs> That's how come she's looking that beautiful, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. So, you know, for some time, I, I've just been connecting on social media, checking Twitter, for instance, and the one thing I realized was that, okay, even though you have Celestine Donko either on Facebook, you have YouTube and all that, Twitter alone has gospel soldier <laughs> gospel soldier did you ever intend going to the military or something how did that name come about not at all it's one of my one of the guys who used to be a team member mm. in the past uh, is the one who came up with that name because okay. he actually um, experienced my state performance okay and he didn't know, like when I'm chatting to you, you see me to be calm and yeah, then when I course. get on stage, it's a different thing I altogether. become so wild and aggressive and that. So he said, Charlie, you, you're a gospel soldier. Oh, That's how it started. And I love the name. Uh -huh. And I love the concept because Bible says we are all soldiers yeah. in the army of the Lord. So mm. yes, that's what is behind that name. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I thought maybe for once you had an interest or, you know, growing up, people have interests. No, you want to be no, there. no. <laughs> 
you never even thought of getting no, it. No, no, no. But no, here no. you are today, and you're a soldier in a different field. Exactly. Like in ministry. <laughs> interesting so that's how come the name came about yes but today do you still use it or once in a while it comes up only a few people um, even know about because it because the name celestine donko has really been established and mm. um, the gospel soldier has become a character for me okay i use it when there is a need to mm. uh -huh. mm. so yeah it's a special name we use it once in a while okay do you intend ever going on stage and perhaps wearing a military uniform or something i think i have pictures in uh, i have photos in military uniform oh uh, i did a COVID campaign mm. and i had to use that to change the euphoria okay. and just get the attention mm. and on that uh, project i used gospel, gospel soldier okay yes oh interesting. so like i said i used the name on special projects yeah, special occasions <laughs> yeah. interesting now for a lot of people during my intro i said it you know we get to hear all the glory like okay celestine has won that award she has a big song out there but they never know it started from somewhere how is the celestine story like did well, you also start singing from church oh yes oh. i Everything about my life growing up was very much church. Mm. And that was all my mom knew and okay. that was all she gave me. Like it was church, even in the house, the home was even more than church. Oh. Because I remember when we were kids, uh, by the way, we are 15 siblings and oh, wow. I'm a seventh born. So it's so a whole... like the middle, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a whole congregation at home. Own, yeah. And sometimes my mom would say, so, so today you are the pastor, today you are the MC, today you are the usher. Mm. And then we have this mini chapel at home. And she would say, okay, you are leading worship. And we do all that. And th that was how we had fun. Mm. And so church was pretty much a part of me. Uh, I didn't know that singing would become a career. I didn't okay. know it was going to become my absolute passion. Mm. Yes. Um, but by the grace of, of God, every little bit of who we were growing up has contributed to what I yeah, am. Yeah. Um, when I started, it was much of singing in church, mm -hmm. joining the choir, leading praise and worship, and just being satisfied with it. I oh. mean, I wasn't looking for more. Yeah. I was so satisfied when the atmosphere is stirred by my ministration before the man of God preaches. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that was just it. I was really having fun and being fulfilled in that yeah. at the time mm. until god in his own way who knows what lays ahead of us and orders our step yeah he just led me one day into a studio and voila that was how the professional music began interesting mm. you talk about it starting from home i mean yeah. like you had that many church at home because of the family size yeah. and all that mm. and you loved it doing it in church yeah you weren't were you being paid or you weren't even looking forward to being paid were just satisfied ministry at church yes that that thought never cropped my mind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like to be paid, like no. <laughs> okay. You see, even when I released my first album, mm -hmm. it was launched, and everything. I didn't even ask for a dime. Oh. Yeah, because at the time, my I didn't know you were supposed to earn from it. At the time, all the joy and the fulfillment came from the fact that, oh wow, Celestine, you sang well. Mm. Oh wow, Celestine, you moved me. So those were like so the, it was the, it was the <laughs> praises and all the yeah, adoration that came out. Exactly, that was and that went. people make you feel good. They mm. make they encourage you. They make you feel like you've impacted their lives. Mm. So that was basically a fulfillment. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Which church was this? I mean, we've been talking to a church. Yes. Okay, so like with my family, I grew up in a church of Pentecost, okay. and then some way somehow. I landed in one church called the International Solid Foundation. Okay. Um, it is, um, I've attended a lot of churches mm. because of my singing. Yeah, so yeah, that takes you to a lot of places. A lot of places. And sometimes I stay at one place for like a year. Mm. <laughs> and mm. sometimes six months. I even attended SDA because of the song they sang. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Yes. The only church I think I did attend was Jehovah Witness. I think mm. I attended pretty much a, the, ah, like every church that do good music, yeah, I'm yeah. there. Mm. So at the time when I had the liberty to go to the church I like, was that my mom, my parents, they were that me brown. Mm -hmm. So I attended SDA because Charlie, they were in our neighborhood and when they were singing, you could feel it. 
I love it. Mm. So I decided to attend the church. The only thing I didn't like that they said don't wear earrings, so I left. <laughs> <laughs> so you left the SDHS because, because of Because we yeah. love earrings, big ah. ones. <laughs> so I couldn't survive there, you know. Yeah. And they allowed you to attend with earrings for some time, but later on... I have to tell you so that you need to I, get it I, I had to leave, but mm. I love their, th that church because of the singing. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, everywhere that there is music, I'm attracted to. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right, guys. So, you're still watching BTM Africa. Remember to leave your comments and, of course, subscribe. And possibly tell us where you are watching us from. We would love to have that particular feedback. My guest is Celestine Donko. Now, moving on from that particular time in life, I mean, your first album, you talk about the fact that for you, it was just about ministering and let, letting people enjoy. You didn't even care about how much money you were going to make or anything. Which year was that? Oh, I'm talking about growing up, like my teenage days, mm. all the way to when I was around 19 and 18, thereabout. Mm. Yes, even to 21. Yeah, it was around 20, 21 that I started, you know, uh, doing music, entering music professionally, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And meeting a lot of music stars okay. and working in the studios, mm -hmm. yeah. So yes, this is all about my growing up. Okay, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, from the beginning, we talked about that growth. You've talked about, we've spoken about the first album mm -hmm. and all that. Now, would you remember the very first album? There are people who don't even remember. I do, I do. Um, the title was uh, Yes to Dream Home. Mm. And um, yes, it was recorded in just one week. I was discovered by the engineer who owns the studio, okay. Fred Che Mensa. Fredima? Yes, Fredima oh. in those days at Circle. So he discovered my talent, booked up, uh, I think, a night session for me. And then I came around and recorded an album. Wow. And yes. <laughs> in a week? Yes, he just played the keyboard, I sang. The following day, we did two, we did three. There was only whose eight songs were done. Interesting. So <laughs> we just quick, quick, quick uh, fixed the launching date. Mm. We launched it. Mm. And then I remember it was a very big launching because I was attending a very big church. OK. Um, people bought people, you know, and I had a chance to sing the song and all that. And trust me, after that, I wasn't expecting anything more. Mm. I wasn't expecting to be on TV, to be on interviews. It was just done. Wow. <laughs> After the lunch drink, I went back to, to the work. Church. Okay. To work was that them. I had just completed SHS. Okay. So I went back to work, my normal life to church, and that's it. I didn't even I didn't even had so much delight in singing my songs. Mm. <laughs> You just Is love it? doing it in church. Yes, it was just like normal for me. Uh, so yes, until one day mm -hmm. a guy shared a testimony of how that song he bought from my luncheon changed, saved his life from dying. He wanted oh. to commit suicide and then he played my music and had an encounter with God. Mm -hmm. He met me later on and said, Celestine, if you are not taking your music seriously, please do. Mm -hmm. So I left the guy there. For me, it was a normal conversation. But then when I left him, those last words kept resounding in my spirit. Mm -hmm. It was haunting me. Okay. It was pressurizing me. It was like, it was just something I can't just ignore. Mm -hmm. So I had to just go into waiting on the Lord, praying about it. And then asking God that, Lord, if this is really what you want me to do, speak to me, give me songs mm. that will save life. Because I can't produce songs that will save life. Yeah. You have to give me those songs. You have to, I want to connect to you. Because there's one thing about me, everything I, I want to involve everything, I, like my everything in, mm. I want it to be great. Yeah. So I sought the Lord and my conscience and my heart was just at peace that yes, this is what I have to do. Mm. So I started saving to go back to the studio to record my own songs. Oh, wow. So that's how the calling began. Wow. So there was a discovery point uh -huh. and then the calling point. The calling is where a lot of people are not able to get it because mm. I know one of my camera guys, for instance, the call comes and he keeps turning it down. <laughs> he doesn't want to respond. That's been the journey for him anyway. Mm. But in between then, 
and now it's been a journey mm. like 20 years already yeah and recently should i say 2019 2020 thereabout you had more like the biggest years in your music career yes winning awards your songs were everywhere like uh, three music awards listening among the top 32 mm. women in music and all that considering where you started from mm. when you didn't even see music as a career mm. to now would you say it's been great it's been awesome every single day every single year from that point that i understood that this is my calling mm. this is my purpose every single experience is a blessing to me mm. it's is so fulfilling that's why i'm emphasizing on doing what you know you are called to do mm -hmm. doing what you love yeah in my conversation i registered with you how much i love to sing yeah that i had to even be drawn to churches that sing yeah so it, it was what i love 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 mm. and then god being so good it became something he called me to actually do yeah. and i knew that it wouldn't just be singing to excite people but singing that will, you know, save lives, singing that will restore hope, singing that will encourage and inspire people. And so every step of it is inspiring. But the most inspiring moment and exciting moment for me is when people give me feedback in terms of testimonies okay. of what the song is doing in their lives. Mm. Those are like more than money more okay. than anything okay. to me mm. because i know how god called me yeah. i know what i expected him to do with what i'm doing mm. and when i hear things like that i'm so excited well so, yes, the excitement is there your career has i mean even though it's been it's been a beautiful inspiring mm. one obviously mm. everybody suffers a downside at yeah. one point in time mm. um i remember was it two years ago or something mm. you dropped a song mm. which got a sect of the Christian community angry. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was banned from certain TV channels, mm -hmm. certain radio people yeah. said we are not going to play it. Mm -hmm. They were more like the gatekeepers of the Christian community yeah. in Ghana. <laughs> and they were all about you because you had featured artists they considered secular. Mm -hmm. How did that affect your career? Were you at any point convinced to even withdraw the music and say, listen, I'm not doing this again? Not at all. Not at all. You see, there's a different when you send yourself. And there is also difference, there is a difference when somebody sends you, mm. okay? It's like when you are coming here in the name of the president, even though nobody knows you, the conflict alone. Yeah, there's an authority back Exactly. You. And that is exactly how I feel. Mm. Because I know between me and God, I know things he tells me to do. Mm. And I know that the one who sent me is with me. And so, personally, personally, even without God, I'm not easily broken. Mm. I'm not a person. I took after my dad. My dad is a very, very strong man. Okay. So, and he trained us very tough. Mm. And I've gone through things in life that people didn't see happen. They, they didn't survive. And so, like, even me, I'm, 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 by the grace of God, I'm very tough. Mm. And so... That's not say, the grace of God. Yeah, not just say, it. It's unstoppable <laughs> for me. So like, mm. it, it, was, it was something that if it is my decision, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done, to oh. be honest with you. If, if it was my personal choice, mm. I wouldn't have done. Why? Because I used to be, used to be that kind of Christian who criticized these things. Oh. I did it before. Oh, interesting. Oh, yes, because I was... Brought up in the Church of Pentecost, That's our life strict, like, strict. Yeah. Our life was in scarf, no makeup. The first day I did makeup, that is lip shine, uh -huh. was after essays. I was 19 plus, almost 20 years. Mm. That was the first time I did lip gloss. And the day I did it, my mom cried. What else was she asking? Because Cuba and Marseille. Because my lip gloss. Which, per the chest <laughs> training, they train your dear mom, no, you are not supposed, not supposed to. to do it. So it is just to pre inform you of who I used to be, be mm. and what, what I used to believe. So, as per those days and how I think of the gospel, I wouldn't have done that. Mm. And like featuring a secular was like an abomination mm. in the world where I was coming from. 
But being renewed by the word of God, I would say the word of God renews our mind. Yeah. And then being uh, one, an artist whose focus is on hearing God, I believe strongly that I was directed mm. to put this artist on my song and I knew that I had heavenly backing. Okay. And besides, it was a Thanksgiving song. It was a COVID year. We all have been through a lot. Mm -hmm. A whole year without programs stuck yeah. in our rooms. Yeah. Some of us were infected by COVID. Mm. We survived. My husband and I were infected. Oh, wow. You know? And Grace has kept us. So I said, let's, call, let's do an all-star singing mm. and just thank God. And God lays on my heart that, no, don't do it alone. Call these guys, call these guys. Let them know that they are all, you know, welcome to give their thanksgiving to God. So that was the purpose behind it. Of mm. course, in everything you do, people have their opinions. Yes. People have their own beliefs. Mm. And it's okay. But that shouldn't stop me from doing what my boss has told me to do. What your God has told yes, me to do. Yes, my God. And because <laughs> I have his backing, mm. I am not moved. I am not shaking. You know, because people have done this thing and it has ended their, their yeah, career. I, mean, I think if, if, if my memory serves me right, I think mm. um, Lady Prempe had a song with, was it Trigmatic or mm. somebody? Mm. And all that, mm. there was that same backlash and mm. all that. Even, I don't know why it is with Ghana, but then even in America you have Tasha Cobbs mm. and then Nicki Minaj mm. collaborating. You've had Snoop Dogg winning gospel album of it, the it's, year. It's everywhere, even in America. Do you know how much Tasha Cobbs was bashed for yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I saw, I saw a couple yeah. of feedback. It was, it was a whole world news. But why, why, why is the Christian community kind of unreceptive unre or non-receptive to some of these things? I think it's because of lack of the right interpretation of the Bible. Mm. You know some of the scriptures that say, do not be equally yoked with yes. unbelievers. Yes. Uh -huh. That scripture is some, is, is, is a, a, a lot of people who are against stuff like this would quote that scripture. Mm. Mm. Do not be equally yoked yeah. with unbelievers. Mm. Uh -huh. But when Bible says that, it doesn't mean that literally sitting with uh, or, or, or a, eating yeah. an, is a sin. Mm. But what it means is that don't be yoked with them. Don't be like them. Don't do what they do. They do, do you yeah. understand? In that don't, case, you become them. Exactly. Yeah. Because Jesus came and he was hanging, hanging out with uh, hardcore sinners. Yes. You know? Yeah. Judas. Yeah. Uh, this guy, short guy, Christ, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. All these disciples, full of them, know their stories. High time prostitutes. They were those working with Jesus. He was in their company. At a point in the Bible, I think around in the book of Luke, there was a time that the Pharisees said, this man who says he's the Messiah, look at the kind of people, people that yeah. he mingled with. Yeah. And Jesus said that it is not what you take inside of you. Yeah, it, what comes out of you. Thank you. you. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure if we allow this, we're going to turn this whole thing into I a sermon. Tell you, which, I tell which is you. also equally important. <laughs> but then, mm -hmm. I mean, you chose a fear Aquabua. Mm. When you reach out to these individuals, mm. how did they feel? Were they even not surprised themselves? They were totally surprised. So now this was a fierce reaction. If you was excited, he said, Charlie, I'm honored. I'm excited. Let's do this. Mm. Let's do this. I mean, I love your, your, your ministry. Let's do this. And I'm saying, I explained to her my vision mm. and what I was led to do about how we've all gone through a hard time. She even cut me short and she was like, Charlie, this COVID time is just grace that we are alive. Yeah. I mean, she spoke my heart. I saw that she was connected to what yeah. I wanted to do. Yeah. So that was for Afia. For Akwaba, she was like, Charlie, let's do it. You can even come to my studio. By the way, Afia also offered I come to a studio, yeah. so we do it. Um, Akwaba was like, come to my studio, let's do it. Cry. Like, by you, your people, <laughs> them will kill you. Yeah, he knew it, because I think Akwaba has a worship medley on his album and yeah. all that. Uh, that was Akwaba. I was like, yeah, your people, hey. Ah, well, let's do that, Mr. Charlie. Sometimes we just have to do what God is leading us to do. Mm. So, you've made it clear that at I the mean, end of the day, you know, um, I am excited I did it. You did it? Yes, because I'm experiencing something that I believe was the reason why God wanted me to do, to it. do it. And now I have some of these secular guys 
coming in my DMs, chatting me mm. with, with some issues they are going through, mm. with their desire to go to church, with their desire to do gospel. Mm. It's like I've been positioned as an open arm for them, somebody they can talk, talk to. to. And, and I, an example is Irene Logan. Mm. Um, I called her, I encouraged her, that I, I embraced her into the gospel world mm. and told her that if there was anything she would need, I'm there for her. Yeah. She was happy. So I said, Charlie, you are one of the few people who, mm. you know, so I'm glad that out of this, that the world may reject, mm -hmm. <laughs> God has God also had opened a door. For that. Yeah. I mean, Logan recently released a new single, uh, yes. which I think is also doing pretty awesome. well. Awesome. Yeah, as well. Yeah, awesome. You made it clear from the start that mm. if you were directed by God, they had no problem in doing it. Mm. Today, looking at all the things that happened and the mm. success of it as well, opening mm. different doors, mm. would you still do it if you had the opportunity? To be honest, uh, I never say never. Never say never. Mm. Because who am I to say I won't? Who, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> and who am I also to say I will? Mm. I, I, I just can't answer that question. Okay. But I tell you that my mission in life is to obey the voice of God. Mm. And so when God tells me don't, mm -hmm. I will not. Okay. When he says do, you move even speed. if it's the devil, I'll look for the devil and sing with him. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. <laughs> So no matter where, if you have to dig into the trenches to find the individual, you do God that. God says do it. <laughs> I'll do it. You don't want to be like Yona. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to be swallowed by any. <laughs> you don't want to be like Yona. Thank you. Interesting. <laughs> Let's move into a different thing altogether. Mm. Um, the gospel fraternity has seen something. You know, often at times we hear gospel artists, mm. yes, they are married to uh, pastors who are actually their, their managers as well mm. and too many things do come up. Mm. You are married to someone who is your is your manager as well. Mm. How do you do it? Because most of the time, I mean for you it's been successful, most of the time we hear all the confusion mm. and somebody taking all the properties and mm. all that. How, how do you do it? I would say that first of all, I believe strongly that it was a path that God carved for me. Mm. Um, because it is, it is not usual and um, to have a husband who is interested in doing music mm -hmm. and then also interested in making that his calling, mm -hmm. like his passion, it is unusual. So I see as God's gift or God's help okay. to, to the calling. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, I would say that um, it's not, it's not just the mere sight that your husband is your manager. No. I believe that I'm a tough person, mm -hmm. like me near the kaka. Yeah. So I needed someone who can control me. Mm. You know, it's important for an artist like me to have someone whose words, like, has authority mm -hmm. over me. Mm. And, and I think it's one of the things that has helped me a lot and um, because he is my husband already my head yeah and he's my manager and he's my boss it's like wherever i turn to he's my authority mm, mm. and so it, it helps me to align under his leadership mm. and it helps me to also be directed and be controlled in a way okay i mean there are times i dress up and we're almost there to where we are going and then my boss is like hmm, this is what you are Let's go back and change. Oh. Yes. And sometimes I post something, I tag him, and then he like, hmm, delete this post. You know, so I, I believe that if you have someone who has some level of um, authority mm. over you, it, it helps you to be checked. Okay. Which is very important because they see their old trust sano. Yeah. How, how did it happen for you? I mean, did, did he connect with you because of your music because I mean there are people who may want to take interest, uh, um, advantage of people because they are celebrities they are well-known individuals how did they happen um, not at all at the time we met I wasn't in the public um, mm. I wasn't in the limelight okay I was just that church singer oh, okay. like every other church so he singer. saw the vision <laughs> <laughs> So I believe that is destiny that just mm, connected us. Mm, mm. He actually is the one who came in 
to birth the brand. The Celestine Donko brand. The, the, yeah, the Celestine Donko brand. He's okay. the one who came in to birth it. Mm. I was when he came into my life at the time, I was just that studio girl mm. that anyone will call. They will tell I have two songs coming back. Okay. I have a track come and feature me, and then I'm going and coming. I didn't have any desire to start my own oh, brand. Okay. So he's the one who actually called for it and said, "Look, if this is what you love to do." Let's put structures to it. Let's make it something more solid. Let's have something that people can identify you with mm. and not just be calling you the featuring artist, yeah. the backing yeah. girl. No. Yeah. So he actually is the Make main sure that everything was institutionalized. Key. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty beautiful when you have a family or you have a partner who shares in your vision and supports it. So this is a clear yes. story of how it works mm. almost all the time we hear the negative ones and say oh and then you can I say and there's mm. confusion mm. so i'm pretty sure if you're out there you mm. could actually pick from this story mm. as well to know that it can actually work mm. for you as as an artist mm. if you are married to your your husband who's your manager mm. or who's also a pastor mm. or something it can work mm. don't always look to the negatives mm. there are positives to it mm. and she is an example and let me let me just add to that mm. you see when we talk like this, people watching may think it's all rosy. Yeah. We fight though. <laughs> we disagree. Yeah, this guy, he often <laughs> fights with the, with the wife as well. We disagree a lot. Mm. We argue a lot. But hey, let me tell couples out there. It is true that everything in this world is digitalized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But marriage problems are not digitalized. Mm. Let's keep private things private mm. and not discuss pop. <laughs> I don't know why people think you can just come on social media and share your marriage problems mm. to the social world mm. it's it's it's, it's totally uncalled for mm. please marital problems is not part of the digital world mm. let's keep those things out of the public like I, like I said, we have our issues. Mm -hmm. Probably if you hear, you're like, oh. <laughs> but why? I will, I will make sure you don't hear. Because mm -hmm. problems between my husband and I is our private issue. Mm -hmm. And so don't sit there and think, oh, it's so fine. Everything is well for us. I say, no. I just make sure that some, th some things are my private life. Exactly. I don't owe you any explanation mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any details. Amazing. I only share what I want you to know beautiful that's all and that's something i've always believed in mm. that celebrities share with you what they want you to see mm. listen each and every one i've said this thing a couple of times mm. in interviews mm. that i know celebrities who actually smile in front of the camera go home and cry they are not sharing oh they don't even you. go home but then they switch off the camera <laughs> <laughs> they don't get home <laughs> they don't even get home they, that's where the microphone the cameras are off they start crying so guys just just be real with yourselves live your life yeah Keep certain things out of social media, mm. and of course, you you would have a very wonderful one. My mm. guest, Celestine Donko, it's been beautiful having her on the show. Now, gradually, you've built a brand where every year you have an event yes. that happens. By the grace of God. When you decided to do the very first one, mm. what was the fear? I tell you, to be honest, I don't entertain fear. Mm. That's just me, my nature, and everybody who knows me know. Okay. I'm the type of person who would be encouraging in the worst situations. That's mm. who I am. Yes. Mm. And so fear is one thing I don't entertain. Okay. I mine is it is well. Mine is it shall be well. Mm. Mine is God will do it. Okay. And that's how I run. Always positive. Yes, that's me. And so when we started, one of the hugest um, thing that we saw was how to fund. Mm, and how to how to be able to fund something that big because mm. at the time we wanted to do celestial praise no artist was having their no gospel artist, artist. was having their own event annual event, annual that event. it wasn't mm. common in, mm. in in that time it was the secular like a joint tree yeah. and stuff mm. so what we wanted to do and then we discussed the magnitude of it. We were like, how would we do this? But we always go back to encourage ourselves with God's word. 
that God knows how to provide. Mm -hmm. He knows how to come in and do the impossible. Mm -hmm. And so we trusted God and the first one just turned out awesome because people would offer, it was just amazing. People would offer and say, oh, let me support with my uh, instruments. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me, okay, take this uh, on credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after the program, when yeah. you're able to raise funds, you come and pay. Mm -hmm. The hall we had for free. Wow. We had people who came in to support, giving water. And that is how God has been with us. Mm. Yeah, so we trusted him and then it happened. Even how we started bringing in international artists. Mm -hmm. I think I'm one of the few gospel people who started bringing uh, artists outside was, Ghana for, yeah, for, for concert, events yeah. here. And, and how it started, it was just people reaching out and saying, we want to come and support. I'm telling wow. you, yeah. Wow. I'm a few people you. have said that the, the ministry is becoming commercialized. Mm. I mean, of course, you, you are spending huge money in bring, flying people mm. in their hotel, mm. they are feeding, recording, the mm. auditorium you are using, even recording and all that. At what point do we balance it and say, listen, the ministry is supposed to go, but then of course, we are supposed to also make money out of it. I don't How agree do with it? that statement. I think the right statement is not the ministry is becoming commercialized. I think that is not correct. Mm. It's rather the ministry has a commercial aspect. Mm. It's, exi it's not like it's becoming, it's okay. there. Okay. It has a commercial aspect. Mm. So the ministry, what I see it is that I'm soliciting the songs I receive from God and the desire for these songs to impact the world is the ministry. Mm -hmm. Now, the commercial aspect is who takes this song, puts, invests their money on it, makes sure the songs reach the world, good video is done, good production is done, everything costs money. Yeah. So that it doesn't become my burden, but the burden of that finances, yeah. uh, financiers. Yeah. So that is the commercial aspect. So if the totality of the music ministry is ministry plus the business side of plus the commercial mm. aspect. It just can run separately. Mm. Anybody who said they've done that is a big lie. I can I can put my Would name on it. it. Yeah. It's it, what we do here. <laughs> no, I mean I mean it's it's become a reality. I've heard people talk about it. People have raised concerns mm. about it. Mm. So it means you can't have the ministry without looking at the commercial side it, to it. It's it, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah. It has to run together. Yeah. Otherwise, you will fall short. You, the singer, no matter how talented you are, or passionate you or are, or passionate about. you are, the kind of songs you can write, without funding, your songs won't go beyond your church. I'm telling yeah. you, yeah. It, it, it won't go anywhere because for somebody to uh, like what you are doing, it has to be done well. Yeah. You have to go to the studio. You have to do a good video and all that. So there are a lot of people out there with very good voice, very good songs. So ask yourself that what that, that is ministry. Why are we not hearing it? Mm. You mm. see, so we need to appreciate those people who are also called mm -hmm. to fund fund the ministry. Mm. You, do you understand? We need to appreciate them for for seeing funding what we are doing as they are calling to. Mm so that it all work together and give God the glory. At the end of the day, um, what, what uh, is the ministry if it is in the dark? Yeah. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you can't light a candle and put it under in your bed. In the dark, Bible says you are a city on a hill. Yes. Yes. And for, for that hill, for people to see you on that hill, there needs to be that support. Do you know together. how people build on a hill? You know how the tractor surface to carry <laughs> to get things to the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things that yes. happen. My guest, Celestine, mm. don't go. Let's look at the new single you've dropped. Mm. I mean, we've had a conversation. I'm excited about this because mm. we have a very broad conversation. Mm. You have a new single, Only You. Yeah. Tell us the story behind that song. Uh, I know it's, it's quite cliche for people to say, okay, tell me the inspiration behind that mm. song and all that. Mm. But when I heard the song, I realized it was not just another song. Mm. It's still different a song. Mm. What's the spirit and what's the inspiration behind that one? The song was birthed out of a real life stories, mm. real testimonies mm. of things that God had done. Um, I had a few friends 
we hung out, like we grew, we grew up together. Mm -hmm. And we just appreciated everybody at a point from afar because when we grow up, people have their jobs, they are married and stuff, so there's always some gap. Mm -hmm. So I saw those friends as they are doing well, they are okay, they are comfortable. Until one day we decided that, hey Charlie, let's hang out, I hang it out at chair. And then everyone, uh, we caught ourselves in that moment where everyone was sharing what was happening in their lives. Mm. And Charlie, they were tough. They were oh. tough. You saw them from <laughs> afar and saw very beautiful things. You thought everything was okay with them. They are doing well. And there was one particular one that uh, we all accompanied for a glamorous wedding. You know that wedding that every lady would want? Yeah, and, you and we were happy for the person and all that. And then that day in that meeting, she opened her mouth and said, you know, three months down the line, after our wedding, my husband is diagnosed of having syphilis. Ooh. And syphilis is an STD. Obviously, where did this come from? Where did it come from? And trust me, she didn't look like what she was saying. Mm. She looks like a happy person. She looks like she was just okay. Yeah. And so she said that just, she says, she shares how she cries at night she shares how she's frustrated because you know you are married and doctors say you can't even be intimate with your husband because of the STD. because of the std and so they were just touching touching problems and so i told these friends of mine that look let's pray i believe in prayer yeah. so let's meet once a while and pray about these things so they agreed and then once a while we met and we prayed. We just prayed that God should come through. And how God miraculously just answered each one of us. I mean, each one of us with our specific issues, wow. God just did for us. And this lady, the syphilis story, as I speak with you, has a baby boy. Awesome. Yes. And so this song was birthed out of these testimonies and out of gratitude unto God for what he has done. Wow. It's a real love story. Mm. And the Lord told me that this song is here to release testimonies in the lives of people. For, for if he has done it for us, he yeah. is still in the miracle business and yeah. he will do it for everyone. Amazing, amazing. Mm. I do understand that this song is not just one of those songs. Mm. It's coming off a project. I, yes. Most of the time we have the secular artists say, I'm releasing an EP, I'm mm. releasing an EP. <laughs> Gospel artists want to do an album, but I hear you are also doing an EP. An EP, yeah. Why? Um, I think uh, we have to try to be trendy. Mm. We are trying to catch up with how fast the world is going. Mm. And the Gospel, we, we, we don't want to be left out, you know. So, yes, I find it as an exciting idea. Okay. Uh, because you get a chance to actually let people hear each of these songs mm. and you actually have the time to promote each song one after the other okay and 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 so it's it's there's so many advantages with uh, releasing an EP. an ep and you also pack all the recordings together so that you can relax for some time mm -hmm. and then focus on promoting mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so yes my team thought it was a good idea so we are coming up with a seven track ep Seven track EP. Yes, and the seven track EP featuring five African artists. Uh, one from Ghana, one from Nigeria, mm. there's a Tanzanian and there's oh. a Kenyan. Oh. Yes. Are you going to South Africa as well? Or oh, this time no South Africa? This time no South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You care to share with us, I mean, this is BTM Africa, you care mm. to share with us a very exclusive, like who is on it from Ghana? I can't share that oh, for now. Come There's on. time for everything. I know, I know. But then, I mean, this is this is BTM Africa. Um, I'm, I have a purpose. I have a reason for this. Uh, I want it to be properly done. Uh. Uh, we want it to be properly outdoors so okay. that it will feel fresh. Mm. And we will give one thing me and my team do is not just to hop people on our songs, but to also give them the necessary exposure. Mm. Uh, I mean, that collaboration that will not just be beneficial to me, to but you. to the artist on it as okay. well. And so, we want to take our time and give do it a proper, yeah. you know, opening. Yeah. That's why I said it's time for everything. But for now, I can mention Steve Crown because for Steve him, Crown. Oh, amazing! 
Yeah, you've got Steve Crown on there. Again, because yeah. for him, I already have one single yeah. with him, and then yeah. we are doing another mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited because this time, he's the one who came and said, oh, Charlie, let's do another song. Oh, beautiful. So, yes, um, he's part of the EP mm. coming. Even though you tell me you have plans for it and you want everything to be well mm. mapped out, mm. do we have any idea when the EP is coming out? Very soon. That's ah. all I can say. <laughs> you know, I actually, I, I actually did a video and said I'm going to release it in November. Mm -hmm. But after we released The Only You, we realized that, Charlie, the way the song is going... Yeah, you need to give it a breathing space. We need to give space. it a breathing space to do what it's, it's here to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't want to make another mistake okay. of announcing another date, okay. you know. So, at the right time, if you follow my space, you definitely be updated. Mm -hmm. But do we have the, album, the EP title yet? We are still thinking oh. of that. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you know this. You just don't want to share with us. I don't, to be honest with you. Listen, what's happening now is that we have people, industry people, and uh, spiritual fathers mm. who we make them listen, listen to these songs and, also, yeah, and then okay. they make their input. Mm. So for now, what we do is that if we ask them which one should be the title and then they go like this song and if that song becomes common on all the, the, mm. their lips, then... Then that, go with it. But what is happening right now is everybody's choosing a different title. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, where me the pow? So I was like, where's me the pow? Mm. So, uh, confusion, I yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I believe that there will be a theme okay. for the EP, not okay. necessarily a song, mm. but a theme. Okay. Um, which you will know very soon. All right, so the song is out, the video is out, and all that. As we wrap up, I mean, what would you want to tell the people? Where do they get it? Get to follow you and all that. Okay, so all my songs, including this new one, Only You, is they are on um, all the streaming platforms. platforms. All of them, mm. over 15 streaming platforms. Mm. Uh, to mention a few, they are on Boom, Boom Play, Spotify, Audio Mark, Apple Music, Apple Music you know. iTunes, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, like all of them. Mm. So choose your preferred platform, platform. and then just make sure you take your time type celestine donko mm. and you would have all my songs coming up if you want only you type only you by celestine donko and then it will come up if you want agbabolo type agbabolo by celestine donko it will come up it's also on reels on instagram it's also on tiktok mm. so when you go to tiktok on in the search space type only you by celestine donko it will come up definitely but mm. if people want to connect how do they do that I am so, so, so loud on Instagram, yeah. on Very Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok. The name is Celestine Donko Music everywhere. Mm. On YouTube, is Celestial TV. Okay. Celestial TV. I believe you display it so that yes, people will see. Yes, of course. People are able to subscribe. And also uh, on Twitter is Gospel Soldier. My soldier is S-O-J-A. Yes. Gospel Soja. So she explained how she came about <laughs> the Gospel Soja. But before we go, you want to do a line or two of only you yes. for us. Okay. Me wa dan si die bi. E ya na mi wun se ni ami sha simpo. Fri se mi na mi ni. Nye radia ya mami. Na se mi se me kan. Me sha se ni na mi ko vi e se nyo. E radia. Yeah, why am I in this Oh, I send me back to me. I'm a near me, pan, I'm in them. Not to my Jane Jenny. Now, so me to me, country nipa. If you say nip any more, Sam, come. One cot in a bedroom, and woman, you must say, Ain't he my ekom, na me, una money. Na se mi she kwa ya ufaswa ene wa pipa marewo ni mi ni sweni na. Well, I think I think it will be it will be quite unfair for us. This is more like a performance for us. <laughs> we really appreciate it, Celestine. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And I'll ask you behind the scenes that don't call and maybe my family is connected somehow. We will check that out yeah, later. Yeah, we'll check that later out later on behind the scenes. But thank you very much for speaking to us on thank BTM Africa. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate, appreciate it, it. guys. Just make sure that you check out her channel. We have the inscription down there. Check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe. Watch all the videos. You will definitely be tagged. Shout out to the production team, Tinana to Two, and of course, Bellucci for working this magic. We are back some other time on this same channel. Have a fantastic day. Bye. I never knew you favor me this way. You turned my life around. 
Hello guys, my name is Celestine Donko and keep on watching BTM Africa.